in fact, to try to escape. If there's a felony, if they try to escape, you saw the defense object to that description of the law, uh, even ask for a mistrial, which, which we should be clear the judge has denied. Can you explain the law here? Does the prosecutor have it right or does the defense have it right? You know, remember that we're arguing about an old law which is no longer on the books, and yeah. it mostly was a slave chasing law. I mean, what it gave people the right to do back a hundred years ago was chase chase slaves, uh, and, and it's, it's a disgusting old law, but uh, basically I think the prosecutor had it right, uh, trying to follow the judge's uh, interpretation stated charge that the court will give. The, the, the law, the, and for those people that maybe not don't do trials all the time, remember that the jury is the decider of the facts and they apply the law that's given to them by the court. So both sides have a right to argue how their right. facts, the facts that they think fit their case, uh, are, are impacted by, by the law. And so they're simply given different versions. I mean, I'm not surprised at all that the mistrial was denied. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I do think that uh, they, the, the defense is trying to make hay with it. And the reason is because this final closing argument, this rebuttal argument, this, that's really a gift to the state in this case because it's, it, 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 you don't, we don't really think much about what was said yesterday, right? I mean, the jury's going to decide something today or, or, I mean, or get the case today. And that's, this is the closest thing they're going to hear from the lawyers to, before they get the case. And so uh, uh, the defense is trying to knock holes, to knock her off her track, to, you know, uh, uh, sort of uh, get, uh, uh, mess up the flow, I guess, of the, of the yeah. uh, argument. That's right or now. raise a doubt in the minds of the jury, right, Eric? I mean, that, that's.